Welcome back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked. Let's get inspired. In fact, it's all about inspiration and living on purpose this Monday morning. And we are now joined in studio by Nimi um, Dulu, who is a CEO and entrepreneur with 34 years experience in business and in human resources. But also, she happens to be the author of a new must-read book titled Living on Purpose purpose, which aims to equip readers with strategies to help them achieve personal growth. Nimi, thank you so much for joining us thank this morning. Thank you very much. I, I marvel at the fortitude it takes to, to put together a book. I, I would imagine it must feel like a marathon to get to the point when it's been released, when you actually have to let go of this creation. That must be quite a thing. But what inspired you to take the lessons that you've learned to take this mindset and channel that through a book? So um, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. I think for me it's really been about a journey of self-discovery and I wanted to find a way, I wanted to create a platform that I could inspire others and create some form of personal growth in them. For me it's about courage, the courage to live your life purposely, on purpose, with absolute deliberation and to seize everything that defines you with, with all its fo foes in favour. For me that's been the really the driving force behind it to make a difference it's easy in retrospect to go look back and say these are the lessons learned but was there a moment in your life where you were forced to or made the choice to start living on purpose absolutely and I think when you get to a point in your life where an experience brings you down to your knees mm -hmm. you realize well either I can stay down there or I can use everything that I've got in me to pick myself up and go forward and and live on purpose despite anything that life throws my way, I'm going to defy the odds. And I think there were many circumstances like that that brought me to that point. Uh, and maybe a very common denom denominator with what so many of us went through during hard lockdown over this last year. Maybe that's the opportunity now. So many of us have been brought to our knees. How do we recreate that narrative, redefine ourselves, and maybe just having the, the guide, a yes. practical guide, is the first step. So maybe start with the, the setting of the book. How do you translate this message of living on purpose? Okay, so um, the, book's, uh, the book takes a very uh, story-based approach. It's a very reflective approach, simply because I don't feel that we often give ourselves enough time to really understand who we are, what is of value to us, and unless we understand what is of value to us, we can't really add value. So when we really define who we are at a personal level, we're able to set those goals and that vision and be able to work towards attaining it. How much of this, because I, I would imagine it must be a cathartic experience when you, when you go through this process because it's forced you to hold a mirror up to yourself and, and ask those questions. How much of this has been learnt and how much of this is you living out in these pages? So I've drawn from a number of experiences. I've drawn from my 36 odd years of the corporate business world. I've drawn from my own personal experiences and I've drawn from the experiences of friends and family uh, and people that I've met and some great leaders that I've worked with. So it's a combination of all of those experiences which I've put together and has culminated into the insights that I share in this book. Who is this for? I, I, it feels like a deeply personal narrative. It feels like something that you have written, yes, partly for yourself, but if you could identify that person that you would want to reach with, with this, this book, who, who is going to benefit the most from reading this, do you think? So I think anybody who's looking to discover what their purpose is, they're looking to discover what value they can offer this world. They want to be bigger than they are because when you believe in all possibilities, all possibilities believe in you. So anybody who's looking for that moment to, to take their life forward and to create something masterful out of it. Has it changed you? Do you feel now having gone through this process that there is a new purpose for you? Absolutely. I can't tell you, Graham. Every time I wrote, I sat down to write this book, I was more motivated. I had to stop myself because I would have continued to write and I, there just would have been an unsurmountable number of pages. So the more I wrote, the more I motivated myself and the more I, I just wanted to give more of myself. So I definitely think it's changed me and it's helped, it's helped master me along the way as well. So what you're saying, there's going to be a second and a third edition of coming course. pretty soon. <laughs> Absolutely. 
risky uh, without I a doubt. I'm in awe of, of those that are able to, to put down on paper thoughts that you have described to me. I know this is going to empower a lot of people, as I said earlier, especially in the context of what we've gone through, this massive shared experience of, of COVID-19 and how that has literally brought us down to our knees. Um, so I really hope that you can hopefully tap into this as well. We're going to keep you in studio to continue our discussion. Thank you so much for bringing this Thank offering you. to the world. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit more about purposeful living in just a moment, so stick around.